And so do you find, you know, when you're talking with clients or potential clients, you know, what is their, how is it, how well is it received this system? So it kind of depends. It depends on who we're talking to. It, 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 people look at it very different ways. I will tell you that hundreds of thousands of business owners use this system. They have had tremendous success with it. It works. Sometimes they get pushback from the bank. Sometimes they get pushback from their accountants or their bookkeepers. But once we get through all of that and they do it, it works. However, you have to keep at it and you have to keep making changes. In the book, Mike gives you targets. So he tells you, hey, for a business of your size, this is what we think a good target is. Mm -hmm. And business owners have to work towards making those changes to be more profitable. So it, it's designed to force you to think about your business, to think about your spending, and to think about how to be more resourceful in your company rather than just what we all do, which is to spend money all the time. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And what do you find when it comes to education around um, the financials in the businesses? Like uh, you said earlier, you know, people look at, you know, what's in the bank account. And, you know, do you believe that that's enough information to operate a business well? No, but it's a first step, right? That's the reality of it. I think the goal here is at least to get you in and moving towards the right direction. Um, I, I don't think it's an end all be all, but for the business owner that's struggling or that doesn't have as much time to focus on this, it, it's kind of forcing the actions to take place. Now, once you get the system started in the basics, I think a big part of it is looking at all the different areas where your spending is going on and then making wise decisions there. So a lot of times we find that business owners sign up for all these different services, all these different softwares, and they're not even aware that they're still paying for it and they stopped using it. Right. So I think part of it is that part of the what Mike talks about in the book is to do an expense audit. In other words, go through all of your spending and ask yourself, is this actually useful mm -hmm. and is it productive and does it help me to generate more revenue and does it help me to be more profitable? Too often we spend money on what we call vanity items. You know, oh, that looks nice or I need this or... More often than not, you don't need half of that stuff. That's right. And so part of it is to actually challenge yourself. Do I need this? Is this appropriate spending or is this inappropriate? And then make those hard decisions and make the cuts. Yeah. 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 I've definitely seen many examples in my career where, you know, and this is in the manufacturing and trades and a lot of the owners would, you know, buy a big fancy truck and put rims on it, lift it up and all of that silliness. I mean, it's not silly to them, but to me it is. And I'm thinking, you know, maybe that money could be spent in a better place. You know, Well, does that drive more clients? Does it drive more revenue? No. I mean, it, it's ego spending and we get it. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with enjoying life and to do that, but understand what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So, uh, yeah, and you say the ego. I think the ego is a big thing when it comes to business owners. I mean, a lot of them are those personalities of that's what got them there, right? Was having that big personality, that drive, that push. Um, and those are going to be some of the listeners.